So today we're going to continue on with acting like a developer. We're going to get a bit more in depth into the form views. Um, we're going to talk about relational fields. We're going to talk about smart buttons and we're going to go a little bit into the back end of the view or into the code of the view to kind of show you how to clean things up a little bit, how to interact with things a little bit better, um, or I should say more directly. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we are back in Odoo's demo database. We're acting like developers. So again, uncover your monkey's eyes. So let's go ahead and go over into sales. And we're gonna go into studio again. And back over to our form view. So we go to views, form, or we could have started in the form view and clicked on studio and it would have dropped us in here too. So we've talked a little bit about relationships with our data structure, with looking at this. So what we get is kind of two sides to the coin, right? So at the top level, we have this record that's called a sale order. And underneath that, we have order lines. On the sale order line, this is represented as a many to one relationship. So on order lines, we have one attribute or column that is the order underscore ID, which identifies which sale order it's tied to. On the sale order side, we have a one to many that can have many order lines tied to it. Okay, so that relationship exists. It's not always something where it's represented on both models. Okay, it's something that is generally set as a many to one on the child record, as I'll describe it here. Because these relationships are such an integral part of Odoo, and it helps us to show information in the right way, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through an example of creating one of these relationships so you can see it in a little bit more detail. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that we have something that has a many to one relationship to a sale order. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my tab and we're going to go looking for a suitable candidate for this. So we're going to close out a studio in this instance, go over to sales and we're going to look and see, is there something that we potentially want to be tied to our sale order? So manufacturing has its own way of attaching to sale orders, but we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit easier on ourselves to just have a nice working data set here. So let's go ahead and go into studio. So looking at this here, we see there's some other relationships at play here. So we have this product, which if we hover over it or click on it, we see this is a many to one, which means that there can be many manufacturing orders tied to a single product. There can be many manufacturing orders tied to a bill of material. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add a relationship here. We're gonna drop in many to one. It's going to ask us which model this is in relation to. So we're going to say this is sales order. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and confirm. Now, of course, we need to name this properly. So we're going to go ahead and type sales order. Odoo being nifty like it is, we'll go ahead and make sure that our technical name changes in relation so that we keep it nice and clean. So now what we want to do is go ahead and set up some data so we can see this. So we're going to go ahead and close this out. And we're gonna pop back over here and look at a sales order just to get one that's already set up for us. So we're gonna go to sales and let's go to sales order 61. So if we go into this, we're gonna set this as sales order 61 here so that we create that relationship and we're gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so now that we've got this information here, we're gonna go back over to sale order. We're gonna go to studio. And we're gonna look at two different ways that we can see this relationship. So the first one is much like order lines here. We're going to go ahead and create a new tab. We're gonna call this manufacturing orders. Now that we've got our shiny new tab, let's go ahead and drag over a one to many field into here. And we're going to search more just because easier to find stuff that way. And we're gonna do X Studio because we've just created this field. And that brings up 
our XStudio sales order. Model says production order, which is manufacturing orders. Odoo, if you're listening to this, it'd be nice if you kept it consistent, but no complaints here, we got this. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm. This is going to give us the other side of our relationship, or at least let us see the other side of our relationship here. So clicking into manufacturing orders, we see kind of a, an ugly version of this, but we can see that MO0002, which is what we attached earlier. And because I'm such a nice guy and I don't want you guys to end up with something looking like this, we're going to go ahead and go into the XML. So this is where we start to get a little bit deeper, okay? So inside of Odoo, the way it's set up is you'll see that there is a main view, okay? And all these other views inherit that view and adjust it and make changes. So the one that we're interested in looking at is what we've done in Studio. This Odoo Studio, blah, 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 there's a ton of stuff here. So we look at this and it brings up the few things that we've changed so far. So one thing that we'll see is that we've got this field name here. We'll want to adjust that because I didn't do it properly. But we want this to fill the whole page. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this group here, okay? And we're going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of this stuff here. So it's just filling the whole page, which is the tab. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We'll close out of here. And if we look over here, this looks a lot nicer. And some of you may have caught me here. I should have cleaned up this technical name before I did any adjustments. Sorry for that. You guys don't do that. But if you have done that, be sure to let me know. I'll go ahead and post a video how to fix that because it's really not too painful. There is another way to represent this data. We're going to go ahead and add a smart button here. So if we click add button, we're going to call this manufacturing orders and we're going to go go with the diamond. That's fine. And for the related field, we're going to click search more again, just because I like that. We're going to go ahead and click into this. Okay. It's not showing it right here for some reason, but we're going to go ahead and confirm. So what we see now is we have another smart button. Let's go ahead and pop out of studio and see how this looks. So we're closing out. So you see it gives us a count of how many manufacturing orders we have, and then we can click into this, and it'll give us a view of all these manufacturing orders. So really how you view these relationships is up to you, but there's some nice options that are pretty clean and allow us to see a lot of different stuff. So there you have it. Between those two videos, you should be pretty capable in FormView now. If you have any other questions or anything else you'd like to learn how to do, please drop me a comment below. I'll be watching for that, and I'll do my best to post a video to answer your questions. Thanks.